What's going on guys, we are back once again, and we are going to be talking about some more anime. Uh, I know that some of you probably like, oh, why are you talking about this? We've already, you know, like, some of you guys have probably already watched this anime. Uh, this is the first time I ever watched it. I'm going a lot more back into my anime roots. Now, we're going to be talking about High School of the Dead. Now, this came out in 2010, and there's been a lot of controversy if there will ever be a season two. Personally, I'd love to see a season two of this because I really enjoyed this show. It had a great uh, feel to it now this was an adult show i will say this it was a very adult show there was scenes that makes dragon ball in any anime look like nothing i mean this this anime was very adult and i'm just gonna say that it was very adult because there's a lot of i would say especially if you're a guy you're probably gonna really like this anime but the whole entirety of this anime is based off these high school kids that are in high school and then all of a sudden there is a huge end of the world scenario of zombies where they have to band together and survive against this post apocalyptic world now where none of them really have a lot in common but they know of one another and then they start knowing more about each other like you got the main character Takashi who is the the main character and he has a lot of inner demons to deal with but then he has his former girlfriend Ray who he wants to try to make things up with but it doesn't really you know it kind of goes back and forth and we got you know the nerd of the group you got the miss popular girl of the group you got the shy popular girl in the group so all of them have their own quirks you know Takashi he is the one that really comes in and he just starts beating the shit out of people then you got takagi who is she's the really popular but kind of snotty you know rich girl and then you got uh seko who is the shy but beautiful but can kick your ass type of character then you got uh you know the the older well not really the older but you got uh uh, Miss uh, Suzuki who is the you know the well endowed you know uh character who is the nurse and you got the Ray who is she is a huge martial artist she is uh, Takashi's ex-girlfriend but still love interest so there's a lot of love interest in this uh uh this show and we got even uh K Kotada who is the uh kid the the so-called nerd kid but he's also very good with weapons and guns and he's very smart and a lot of people underestimate him so when this breakout happens we see where he has no choice but to show like hey you know i can do something other than what people think i don't know how to do so there's a lot of drama in this there is a lot of thriller again there's a lot of adult moments in here for um anyone <laughs> because there was a lot of funny parts in this film i'm not film but series two and i'm very disappointed that we do not get to see a season two i know a lot of people including myself would probably love a season two because not only would the anime probably look even better than it did back then but it looked tremendous now and i would love to see these characters of how far they've come from the last time we saw them because again everyone's trying to find their parents they're trying to find a way to survive and they are trying to find a way to cope with this world because there's some that don't know how to cope with this world there's some that don't know what to do they're like okay what do i do with this like what what can i do and we have where they all go through like things that they did before that they happen like you know to, uh Seke, she has she gone through a lot of stuff and we see that she's not I would say as nice or shy like people think then you got takagi who really gets shown in another light after she kind of goes through with her parents have ignored her for so long then you got ray who is like the uh like like the type of cheerleader type of girl where you think you know she always gets this you know has the perfect boyfriend and you know has a lot of skills and is very pretty very popular and she, everything is not all like you would think either so overall i really enjoyed this anime if you guys have not checked out this anime go check it out i do highly recommend it it is a very uh it's got drama it's got great animation great characters great uh action if you like zombies this is for you if you like something that is uh co comedic check this out if you like something i mean because again if you like i would say like attack on titan or i would say fairy tale or uh sailor moon maybe or 
John Dillon or anything like that, you, you would probably like this. I mean, that's the closest way I know how to describe this, I would say, animation slash story slash characters. But again, go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments down below. Go check it out. Um, again, anything zombie-wise, you guys know I'm into. But either way, let me know what you think, and I'll see you, be seeing you guys, as always, on the next video.